Okay, I got VE's 160 watt radiant heat panel. <clears throat> got it set up in the kitchen with a temperature probe that is 12 inches below the heat panel itself. And you can see that it's fairly centered, just a little off to the right <clears throat> underneath the heat panel. You can see that it's not on right now. I got my amperage meter there. <clears throat> the temperature probe is reading 18 and a half degrees Celsius, which is about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. And <clears throat> I'm going to plug this thing in and see what it will heat this temperature probe up to. Because I've not had great success with this outside in my tortoise enclosures. For reptiles, I would hope that this thing would get that temperature probe up to, say, about 100 degrees. I'll go ahead and start the timer just to see how long it takes and to see what it does. Also, I've had issues with this thing. Even though it's not heating, any, heating up um, uh, adequately, it's still cutting off by a thermal limiter that's inside the heat panel itself. So, pause for a second. Okay, it's been nine minutes and it just popped off. The thermal limiter kicked in and it is not allowing the unit to power up. The temperature probe has gone up a half degree Celsius, um, which, so it's risen from 65 to about 70. <clears throat> and it's nine and a half minutes now. In my experience, it's takes several minutes for this thing to come back on. Uh, I'll start the video back up when it, the second it comes back on. It's still not on yet. And it's at 11 and a half minutes. So a little over two minutes have passed. It still hasn't kicked back on yet. And it's still at 19 degrees Celsius. All right, it's still not on yet. And we're at the 13 minute mark. Manufacturer says that these are not supposed to be cutting on and off. Oh, there it came on. And we're at 13 minutes and 20 seconds. So almost a little over four minutes it took for the unit to come back on. And we're still at 19 degrees Celsius. The manufacturer says that these thermal limiters are not supposed to be kicking this unit on and off because those thermal limiters have a set number of cycles that they can actually cut on and off, which means that it's not doing what it's supposed to do and the thermal limiter will break, and when it does break, it will be bro broken closed so that the unit will no longer work. Um, I don't know why it's kicking on. This unit's not even mounted to anything, so if it was mounted inside of a, uh, an enclosure on the ceiling, in theory, the internal temperature would rise even more. Um, they say that these should be controlled with a the thermostat, and it is being controlled with a the thermostat, or at least being measured with a the thermostat. Um, but it's not, I mean, if I had a temperature probe like I do now, 12 inches down, and I wanted it to stop at about 90 degrees or 100 degrees, uh, I'm never going to get there. So this thing is going to constantly cycle on and off. Um, since this isn't budging anymore at 18 and a half and night to 19 degrees Celsius, uh, which is the temperature of the house, uh, it's not heating up hardly any, I'm going to raise the temperature probe to eight inches. All right. It just cut off again, uh, by the thermal limiter and we're at 19 minutes and 30 seconds. We're floating at 19 and a half to 20 degrees Celsius, which is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit and I moved, I have the temperature probe eight inches, exactly eight inches below. Um, so it's still not heating up to what it should and the thermal limiter is still kicking in and turning this unit off. Um, last time it was off for about four minutes. We'll see if that's still the case. Um, just to show that the temperature probe is working, I'm gonna grab a hold of it And you can see 
it's skyrocketing going up 24 24 and a half 25 I'm gonna let go of it and it'll fall right back down Uh, there's no fans on. There's nothing moving air underneath there to keep the probe cool. Nothing moving at all. It's still turned off right now. <clears throat> the, well, it's plugged in, but the thermal limiter has it off. And uh, you can see the temperature's going back down after I let go of it. We'll see what it falls down to. <clears throat> all right, it just popped back on. And it's at 23 and a half minutes and the temperature's at 21 but it's still it has been at least still dropping um, from when I grabbed a hold of it with my hand um, but 21 degrees Celsius is just right at 70 degrees or a little more um, yep drop just dropped again 20 and a half and that is literally eight inches from the surface of the heat emitter um, so I'm gonna move this thing from eight inches to six inches and see if we can get um, any noticeable uh, difference in temperature all right it cut off again and it's at 29 and a half minutes still drop down to 19 and a half degrees Celsius which is still less than 70 degrees it's about 65 in the house and I moved uh, at least four minutes ago or so, I moved this temperature probe to only six inches below the surface. There it is, six inches in the, to the center of that temperature probe. And we're still only at 19 and a half degrees. These things do not appear to radiate heat. It is warm on the surface but it is not projecting heat in any way well just a quick update it's at 32 minutes and 30 seconds still at 19 and a half degrees still not on the thermal limiter is not picked on and the temperature probe is still six inches I'm gonna move the temperature probe to four inches um, so that the next time this thing does kick on we'll see if this we can actually get it to warm up all right, it just kicked back on. It's at 33 minutes and seven, 10 seconds, something like that. Seven, eight, nine seconds. And I just moved the probe to literally two and a half inches, three inches to the tip underneath this thing. Let's see what, uh, what temperature it'll get to. All right, it cut off again. We're at... Uh... 40 minutes now 20 and oh 21 nope 20 and a half 21 degrees Celsius and that temperature probe is literally three inches below uh, go ahead and measure it two and three quarters to the center of it three inches to the tip Thermal limiter kicked on, cut it off, said it's too hot inside. 40 minutes and we'll just call it 21 degrees Celsius, which is 21 degrees Celsius is just a little over 70 degrees. It's below. 